Good evening, everyone. I'm Samantha York in for Amanda Hill. And I'm Brian Yacono. Thousands of people are going 80 plus hours now without electricity after Friday's powerful storm. Tonight, more than 3,400 CMP and 6,000 Versant customers remain without power. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse spoke with the president of each company about restoration efforts. Really hurricane level damage in terms of the devastation we saw on the system. It's been a lengthy restoration process after high winds and heavy rains blanketed Maine Friday. At its peak, more than 300,000 Mainers were left in the dark. Luckily for many, the lights came back on in time for holiday gatherings, but thousands throughout the state are still waiting. Unprecedented level of damaged poles, broken poles, something I've never seen. Up in Arusta County, we had one road where there were six primary poles in a row that were snapped in half by the wind. A similar challenge for CMP, its president telling News Center Maine the storm caused 300 poles to break, the most since 2017. Crews now focusing on restoring power to the more rural areas. We're continuing to uh, collapse crews into the hardest hit area so that we can restore as quickly as possible. But for those without power for multiple days, like here on Mountain Road in Baldwin. Now I get it, they're busy, but you feel very forgotten and, and helpless. Sandy Francoeur says they lost power at her family farm early Friday morning. Luckily, it came back today, but not without major headaches. Without power, our water will freeze. She says they have a generator to keep the pipes working during an outage, but after three days of running, it stopped working overnight, and the pipes bringing water to the horses and sheep here froze quickly. The lengthy outage forcing them to cancel Christmas plans too. I mean, we still had a nice Christmas. We cooked a meal on our wood stove and opened our gifts and, you know, um, you know, finding the broken pipes on Christmas Day was not a happy thing, but we tried not to let it bother us. For CMP and Versant, many of the remaining outages are circumstances like Sandy's, rural areas prone to outages. Still tonight, more than 10,000 are without power, and some could be for multiple days. You're doing a significant amount of work to bring on a, you know, a few customers, so it's going to take a couple more days before we feel like we're pretty well cleaned up. Know that our teams are going to be out there until every last one of our customers uh, are with power again. Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.